So how to get out of it? Here are some strategies. And this isn't a self-care, self-love, just be more confident kind of bullshit strategies. This is like, how can we survive this? How can we get out of some of this uh, in ways that we have power over? So first one, find a community where safety, respect, and a culture of building each other up is present. Calculate your worth, update your resume, and constantly remind yourself, your boss, and others of what an asset you are. Own, broadcast, and celebrate each and every one of your accomplishments to your workplace, to your network, and your community. Work with a mental health professional to help you identify what isn't your shit to deal with and how to construct effective boundaries to keep that shit out. To continue, champion salary transparency policies, accurate position descriptions, and compensated labor slash ethical labor models at your organization. Cultivate a culture of learning, experimenting, and exploring for yourself and others. It has to be okay for us to learn and make mistake, making mistakes is part of that learning. Shore yourself up with people, places, activities, and things that restore and rejuvenate you. And whenever possible, remove yourself from abusive people, environments, and activities. And one last thing, it's going to take time. Continue to build your community of amazing people who think that you're amazing too. It is not our fault that we are experiencing imposter syndrome, but unfortunately it's ours to now deal with. Know that we all of a non-dominant culture are experiencing imposter syndrome and we are all work in progress. Sometimes imposter syndrome can feel incredibly isolating. And so just a reminder that you are definitely not alone in feeling it. Imposter syndrome exists within us via conditioning as well as outside of us in our cultural constructs. It's going to take work on both fronts, internal and external, to remove ourselves from this truly messed up system. We have some resources here, uh, also covered earlier in the slides. There's the imposter phenomenon in high achieving women. And this is a write-up done by Dr. Pauline Clance and Suzanne Imes. There's the imposter syndrome resources by Recovery Village, though take with a grain of salt. There's the IP test, if you're interested in taking an imposter syndrome test. And then the article that, um, I think does an excellent job articulating the problems around imposter syndrome and where we need to move next is stop telling women they have imposter syndrome. Uh, go check that article out published by the Harvard Business Review. Um, it is not behind a paywall, so everybody should be able to access it. There are a couple of webinars that may be helpful depending on some of the areas you're um, feeling like you could use more support in. There's the Ask Me Anything Career Edition where some of the Q&As that we do are related or could be um, in, experienced in conjunction with imposter syndrome, as well as the How Much Am I Worth webinar. We've just put out the most recent edition, so you've got all of the most recent numbers. And this can help calculate your worth and help shore up your belief in that worth. Additionally, if you have any questions or would like to connect, I encourage you to connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, the YouTube channel, Rachel Christine Consulting, has even more resources available. And if you haven't already joined the newsletter, that's where I broadcast and invite people to attend these webinars in premiere mode. So any of my news you'll get first if you sign up for the newsletter.